G'day, it's Captain Australia here, or rather, the old buffhead Simon. Um, I got a lovely message today from somebody who had spotted me just walking through the bush, and they thought I was an old school swag man, so they didn't see the, you know, I had the cowboy hat on, and they didn't really pick up on the stripes on the abdomen of the uniform, so they, they thought I was, you know, once a jolly swag man can buy a billabong, one of those fellas. Which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, so I've been called Military Santa, Swagman, and one or two other things. So I am, uh, hi, oh hey, uh, Diane, Diane, how's Archer doing? Has he had his procedure yet? Um, if he's watching, hey Archer, how are you buddy? Um, so I'm in Sydney now. I haven't crossed the, the Harbour Bridge yet, and I've decided to kind of hold, oh look at that bicep pop up, oh yeah, look at that muscles, oh yeah, look at that. Uh, um, I've decided to um, cross over uh, Wednesday morning, so be a bit strategic about it, and I've written, g'day, good evening Kaz, how are you? I've written to um, the media contacts from the different pieces of media that we've had on the Today Show and the project and whatnot. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty optimistic that they might uh, have an interest in covering the, you know, the moment that I crossed the Harbour Bridge with the suit on and the flag up and I, I might have some people from the charity with me and any of you in the public who would like to uh, join are welcome as well. So I've set an event uh, for just 9am Wednesday morning to cross the Harbour Bridge and um, yeah, hopefully we'll get a bit of media support which will really help the charity move forward, which is great, great, great. Uh, so yeah, instead of pushing through, I, uh, plan A had been to camp somewhere just on the North Shore of Sydney and cross the bridge tomorrow, but I've taken it a little bit easier today. And uh, my dear friend, Eddie, who's just, he's just a wonderful guy. When I had cancer, he used to ring me every week. How are you, Simon? Are you doing okay? It just treat, treat me like a human being. It, it helped me stay human when I was being treated. I don't know. Anyway, he's a lovely guy and he, he came and put me in a cabin today. So I've got this little cabin here. Uh, the, the amenities aren't working. The laundry's all locked up. So, oh, the uniform pongs so bad. I'm thinking of going and washing it in the, in the um, inlet and then, or even in the sink and then just ironing it just to get rid of some of the pong. Jeez, like I caught whiffs of myself today, just in the beating sun, and oh, and I joked before about you know I walk past and possums fall from trees. You just hear plop 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 as birds and small animals fall out of trees as I walk past, but it really is that bad. So after a few days sleeping rough and in the heat, it's nasty. Um, so sorry, we've got some comments. Let's before we continue, let's take a look back. Uh, I'm particularly concerned about Archer, so. He has five days of chemo starting tomorrow, then a two-day break. He gets his donor cells on the 8th. Okay, well, I, I just wish for him and for your family every success in the procedures. Chemo's a, like, even just being cannulated for a child. Just having a cannula in is trauma and a mess. So I hope he's, I hope he's being brave and uh, strong. And he's a lovely boy, and for me, you know, when I'm marching along, if I'm finding it hard to keep going, if I'm having a hot day or a difficult day, it's Archer and kids just like him that help me, you know, refocus. Because my suffering, I, I got through my cancer. I didn't deserve to. I'd much, oh, I don't know. Yeah, cancer doesn't. It's not picky, you know. Uh, you, you survive or you don't. But at the end of the day, I hope Archer has the same outcome that I did. I was lucky to survive. And I wish that for Archer and any child who has to face up to cancer. Um, let me, Sydney, wow, you, uh, sound is going loud and quiet for some reason. Oh, these bloody earbuds. Damn it. So up and down, up and down sound. I am getting really annoyed. I bought these $150 earbuds. They're supposed to be great. Hi, buddy. How's health going? Hope you're doing well. Keep on tracking, dude. Check in tomorrow, oh, mate. Yeah. Let me see if I can, I don't know if that's done anything for the earbuds at all. Nine News Sydney, Seven News Sydney, any news outlet that jumps on it is great. He has a double central line in his chest which makes that a bit easier. Three different chemos per day, it's horrible. What trauma, that's terrible. Yeah, the sound is dodgy, God. I might be better just with, 
did that do anything? I might be better just using the um, native mic on the phone and giving up on these earbuds. How is the sound now? Can, can someone give me a bit of feedback? Facebook, you can't see anything. I have no idea. I'm just seeing a bunch of thumbs up come up. So maybe that means the sound has improved. I hope so. But yeah, I'm so sorry for the trauma that Arch is going through. It's the same, just in and out, in and out. Bloody hell. Um, and I reckon if I turn the earbuds off completely, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chunk says all good. Okay, so the earbuds are dead now. And it should have just gone to the natural mic. Can you hear me? And is the sound any better? So I'm so sorry. I'm just not a professional at this stuff. Not good. So the sound now is also awful. Oh dear. Well, this is just... Oh, it's better now. Okay. All right. Still no good. Oh, it's better. It's no good. It's up and down. Oh, uh, you're doing incredibly well. Well, thank you. Uh, so yeah, I've made it to Sydney. I mean, that's a that's a milestone. We'll give up on those earbuds. So these are called Mifo earbuds. They were new when I got them. They're supposed to resist water. Um, they're supposed to be, you know, all good with all of that stuff. But no. Ah well. I got some mosquitoes eating my foot yesterday, so I got a few bumps. I am near DY. There's a, it's not DY. It's a place right next to it called Kolorololoi or something. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Uh, so I'm about from the North Shore, 15k, something like that. So tomorrow I'm just going to have quite a mild walk, head over to the North Shore, find a kind of discreet place to camp, or uh, we've got Joe, Alfred, to my Batman also maybe trying to scurry up a venue that would provide accommodation on a hospitality sort of a basis which is within the rules so um we'll see how we go but the idea is stage myself at the uh, other side of the bridge sleep and then press across the bridge in the morning kerry butler says it was lovely meeting you today at empire bay glad your day went well looking forward to the bridge climb i'm not actually climbing up the bridge i was just crossing over i mean i would climb um i'm I'm a little bit scared of heights, but I'm also capable of courage. So um, I would do it. Can anyone please take Simon to a laundromat? Yeah, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll figure it out tomorrow because I, I, I don't have a long distance to travel tomorrow. I'll, I'll make it work. Um, so yeah, anyway, the here we are in Sydney. I think that's worth taking a pause and, and maybe celebrating it a little bit. So, you know, the old fool made it this far at least. Um, I, I didn't have any doubts in my heart. I, I found again my sense of commitment, um, integrity, which I, I lost. Cancer took that from me or life took that from me. I became a person who would say, yeah, oh, okay, I'll do it and I'll try. And not, not, not resolute, you know, and you fail and then you try again tomorrow. And you know that's okay to try and try again but but I just I, I became this wishy-washy half person but now I've I've I think this pilgrimage has allowed me to find some personal strength again which I'm delighted to have fallen ass backwards into and I hope I can keep that for the rest of my life uh, am I in a caravan no so there's a little it's not quite a cabin they call them a little studio so it's like a mini cabin behind me there uh, so yeah, I'm able to catch up on a bit of news and I've called all of the media, well not called, texted all of the media contacts. So yeah, I'm hoping that when I cross the Harbour Bridge, they might put a drone up or something or even have the traffic chopper up and get some visuals of that. And there'll be some people from the charity with me, I think, come out to support and walk across, hopefully in capes and underpants, which would be great. And if you live in Sydney and you'd like to meet even have breakfast or whatever before the crossing, have a chat and then cross the bridge together. That would be lovely. You'd be most welcome. Um, yeah, I, I think I did get a little bit of, a little bit of sun today, but it's not too bad. Not, not burnt, I don't think. I'm not, not too, too bad anyway. Um, Diane, uh, Lynette says, uh, yeah, five days of chemo. Yeah, everybody, everybody give all your thoughts and, and you know, all of, all of the love that you carry, just in case prayer does something, I don't know. 
I believe we have a higher spiritual purpose, but I don't have any particular religion. I don't know what it's all about, but if you can, spare a thought for little Archer, little dude fighting cancer. So when I walk that, you know, if, I, if this big walk could help one child, one little boy like Archer, it makes it all worthwhile, my, even my cancer. I'll take it, the whole thing. I'll take it to get to this point and help a child like Archer, okay? So, you know, g give your thoughts to that little boy. And, um, you know, if you're a praying type, pray for him. Because the trauma, and no child deserves to live through that sort of trauma. It's, it's just garbage. I've faced up to that sort of treatment and the side effects, and it's a mess. Anyway, um, Archer's a strong little soldier. He's a, he's a lovely dude. Um, and I'm going to send him another postcard to, soon too, okay? So um, keep an eye out for that, Mum. Um, but yeah, okay, so tomorrow, it's going to be a pretty take-it-easy day. I'm just going to cover, like, the rest of the distance into northern Sydney, which is 20 kilometres, and I'll just bumble around with my flag up, talk to people, um, go around shaking hands and all that sort of stuff. So um, no rush to be where I want to be and no particular plan to get there. So I'm just going to wander... And I might look at, you know, a bit of shopping, new tarps and thermals or whatever. And if I can get a uh, hospitality, a place to stay on the North Shore, that'll, I'll sleep in comfort. And if I can't, I might pitch a little secret camp somewhere down around Luna Park or somewhere like that and just see if I can get away with it. Um, but yeah, I, after the bridge crossing and going through Sydney, play it by ear so I don't like to plan more than a day in advance because it's it's an adventure it's a quest and I, I know it might sound crazy to some but I'm on a pilgrimage you know I'm looking to heal and repair profound pieces of, of who, who I am as a human being in, inside and out you know so even just carrying the big old pack is making me physically stronger weirdly I had a cramp in my forearm earlier don't know what that's about so I must have strained it just lifting the pack up it's too bloody heavy um, Kirribilli house yeah okay I, I, I think men in suits would come out and move me along uh, maybe that should be a dare you know pitch camp at Kirribilli house and when they come out to move me along say now nah, I'm Captain Australia and I deserve to be Prime Minister I think I'd make a pretty good Prime Minister I'd be honest I'd give you that You'd have that, if nothing else, honesty. And when the, the corporate interests tried to manipulate their outcomes, well, I couldn't, you know, the Prime Minister's just a figurehead, you know? It's all party politics and, you know, backroom deals and all of that, I reckon. And uh, I, I'd give you your honesty anyway. So I'd be like, well, you know what? It's, it's this entity here that manipulated the outcome, and I'm sorry it's not in your favour. We should serve the citizenry first, you know? Wouldn't that be cool to have a Prime Minister that actually just always told the truth, you know? Just every every single day, whatever question is asked, bang, it's the truth. When did politics become, you know, lies? Yeah, you know, the old Greek, it was like, po, po, what was the word? It comes from, like, people. You know, the politician is the man of the people. You meant to, and it should be person of the people, you know? It's weird how there's all these, uh, it's like in the, in the what is it, the Declaration of Independence or whatever, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. It's all people, all human beings. Anyway, um, yeah, old man Ramble did it again. Yeah, I have had a little bit of sun. I think my hair's getting thicker and my beard's getting darker. Yeah, shave this off when I'm done and... Uh, you know, I won't look as decrepitly old. I think I'm, I'm turning back some of the ravages cancer's done. Murray, hey Murray, it's great to see your name again, buddy. How are ya? Wow, Captain Australia, you're doing an amazing job. Don and I check in every day to see how you go, mate. Well, I'm in Sydney, buddy. So, you know, far cry from the Gold Coast where we met. Grant says, did your son receive his birthday card, Simon? Yes, Grant, he did. He did. So all of my fretting and worry, it took you know, 12 days, 13 days, 14 days, whichever it was. So, but my worry was not, it was not fair. So I was speculating what kind of a scumbag could 
uh, just the breach of trust of opening mail is one thing, but you know, seeing a card and then stealing money from it, and all of that was unfair. My uh, speculation was completely unfair. So, you know, if I'm like implying that there's a rat in the larder at Australia Post, I uh, not nope, unfair. So I have to completely apologize for that. Oh, there's a big lovely, I don't know if you can see them too slow. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I tried to show you this flock of birds that just flew past, but I've got this, ah, I had this case on the back of the camera. So I showed you the black case. Um, David says, hey, Cap, what do you need, mate? Anything urgent? Look at them. Come on, where are you? Oh, too slow. Nah, uh, too slow. But look at that, look at that sun. That's almost like an aurora borealis there, isn't it? Um, I, yeah, I've got, I have protein bars and I have drink. The, the key, the room to the key's missing. <laughs> the key to the, the room to the key? The key to the room's missing, so I actually can't go anywhere. Um, so, I, but I've got, uh, I've got fluid and I've got food and I've got a comfortable, safe place to sleep. So I am all good, rock and roll. And yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a good day. I'm not, I'm not gonna be worried about making Ks. I'm just, I'm here in Sydney. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make 20 Ks across the day, but no particular hurry. Meet some people, shake some hands, say good day. Uh, Bushman spray, I, how, how, the, how would you know that I've ran out of Bushman spray? Did I mention that? If I did, I forgot mentioning it. So I do need to buy some Aeroguard or some Bushmans. Um, I do intend to buy some thermals and I do intend at some point to replace the tarp or something. You need some dinner, Simon. I've been eating all day. Uh, people keep giving me pies and drinks and all of the rest. I reckon I've had a good 4,000 calories today. So uh, yeah, I'm all good. Probably with the amount of walking, I'm, I need even more than that. But I've still got, you know, look at that. There's a I still got a wee bit of a Tommy there. You know, a wee bit of a Tommy. I said earlier, did I? Yeah, okay, so I do, I will. Yeah, and I did, I got eaten by the um, mosquitoes a little bit last night because I ran out of the Bushmans. Just plod and shake heaps of hands. Yeah, I will. Tomorrow I'll wander around Sydney. Just make some friends, you know? Say good day. The thing, one of the things that I've, I've really enjoyed most is talking to young people. Um, uh, you know, I mean, really young people, when I was just as Captain Australia, I'd go up to them and I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, come at me, bro, and like pretend that we're going to fight, and the kids would giggle and love it. But what I mean is like 19, 17, young people who they start with that, you know, they're g each other up and they're, you know, being, being like openly mocking and stuff, and then we just talk. And I tell them who I am and what my story is, and at the end, they're so sweet and enthusiastic. And I love that radical turnaround. Like at the ferry, um, when I got off the ferry from Stockton to Newcastle, um, there's this big crowd of kids, like like 20 of them. And um, they were openly mocking at first, you know, like obscene hand gestures and stuff like that. But at the end, they were all like, wow. And oh, can I try and lift the bag up? And they couldn't. <laughs> Yeah, muscle man, bro. Um, no, I'm a scrawny old dude. But I think I've, I'm, my core strength is getting a lot better. Um, how do I feel reaching Sydney? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to describe. Like, I feel as though it's just like something's slotting into place. Bang. I, fast forward, I'll get to Melbourne. I get to go home, see my family again. The stuff that I fret over is just inevitable. So, you know... I just, I'm very relaxed. I'm accepting where I am in the world at the moment. And um, yeah, I'm done, I'm done fretting over, over anything really. And for me, maybe that's another level to these sort of psychological rebuilding aspects of it. Cause you know, I've always been a fretter. If there's something that's not quite right, I'll try and, you know, tease it like a, like a toothache or whatever, just try and uh, 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 probe it and <laughs> futilely go over it and I don't need to do that um, yeah I can, I can just relax and roll with it Margaret says have you decided to go Hume Highway or Coast um, I'm gonna go the coast yeah so I won't I won't necessarily do the completely full-on every coastal town and beach thing that I had lined up but I've, I've sort of, I've promised to meet people in Ulladulla and have beers with them. 
you know. So you, I got to. I'm the person who keeps the promises. I have to be that. It's who I. It's who I want to be. So I can't just because I want to get back to my kids and you know figure out what's next. Do the rush down the middle sort of trick when I've already agreed. So yeah, I'll I'll go down the coastal route and I'll visit you know Eden and Bega and all those sort of places. So I reckon I've still got a good 45 days maybe before I'm done with the walk. Kaz says, can't, can't believe you, you're legend, since Boxing Day. Yeah, it, this is day 37, I think. Um, uh, da -da -da -da, just looking back at comments that I might have missed, seems okay. So yeah, um, feeling relaxed, all is well. And uh, tomorrow I, I get to bumble around northern shores of Sydney. And Wednesday morning we'll cross the bridge. Um, I think there'll be some sort of lovely media attention then, so we'll get on the telly and um, hopefully that will help lift the charity up, the charity result. And uh, if that doesn't materialise, maybe once I get over the bridge I'll go and buy, you know how sunrise they do their broadcast and they've got that big window out onto Martin Place, so maybe I'll just go and bother, um, <laughs> bother them, see if I can get on the telly that way, do a bit of photo bombing. Uh, Kaz says, come through Sail, East Gippsland, you've got a room here, Captain. Is, is that on the coast? Um, uh, I'll, again, it's really, uh, I've just, every day uh, I figure it out as I go, because I think that's the spirit of the adventure of it. And some days I have no surety of, you know, like when I went to Edelong, um, Google was telling me that the ferry wharf was closed. and. Uh, I, I thought it's possible I could get there and have no path forward and I'd have to detour and cross bridges and stuff. And I think that's part of it. It's just it adds to that sort of think on your feet. Anyway, uh, Rob, so you are coming down the coast. Yes, yes, right, I'll, I'll, I'll go down the coast. And uh, uh, if nothing else, Ulladulla, I've agreed. There's a couple of people living in Ulladulla who I've agreed to have beers with. And that means not just one, beers, that's plural. But I'm a cheap date. Because since chemotherapy, uh, I get drunk on a few beers. So, uh, yeah, it's four beers and I'm quite toasted, to be honest. Um, should contact the Bridgewater Company and walk over it. Yeah, I guess I could, you know. Um, I guess it'd be a spectacular photo to add into the, you know, add into the other stuff that I've collected. It'd be one of those moments where I could just preserve it and take a great old picture over the harbour. So you're probably right, maybe I should. Come through Bairnsdale. All right, look, Kaz, you've been a supporter the whole time. If it's on the path, I will make a point. And anybody who's on, on my path, if you want to meet, share a meal, have a chat, have a beer, have a coffee. I'm messenger, cap speed walk, just drop a message and uh, yeah, we'll make it work. Um, it's a fantastic view. I, I I'm. I imagine it would be. I'd probably be peeing my pants just a little bit because I've always had an aversion to heights, which is weird because I guess the aversion is actually to falling. Um, incidentally, I lean into my, um, I lean into my fears even even before. I think I'm a lot better now than I was, but I, I've always had a fear of heights. But you know, in New Zealand, how they have this center point tower type thing. It's just like the one in Sydney but they let you um, dangle off a wire and then rapidly drop you to the ground. So you're suspended over skyscrapers and all of that. Despite my fear of heights, I did that stuff. Um, so I was there dangling over skyscrapers like, a, like an obese spider and then pew, down to the ground. Um, so, you know, if you're afraid of something, I've always believed you should try and confront the fear and not, not shy away from it. Nah, it's an easy walk. Well. Uh, I'll look into it. I'll, I've got Wi-Fi here. I'll, I'll suss it out. Um, my door is open, Captain. Well, Kaz, that's lovely. I'd love to meet you. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, there's a few, there's a few people who have just been so unrelenting in their support. Uh, it's been 37 days, and I feel like you know, some of these people are brothers and sisters and uncles and aunts and you know friends. So I'd, I'd love to meet you. Love to. So um, yeah, anyway, that's the plan. And aside from that, uh, what else can we talk about? Yeah, I don't know. So to recap, why is there a leaf poking me in the back? 
Go away, Leaf. Uh, <clears throat> when I cough, I don't have COVID. It's a, I don't produce saliva like a normal person after chemo radiation. Um, yeah, so my tinnitus, I think I might have improved it with uh, tinnitus is this ringing in the ears, beep, like that, and it's a pretty constant problem. And um, I think just being in nature for all this time has actually improved it. My ability to sleep improved that. Hey mate, how you Hi. doing? Yeah, good, eh? Sorry, just doing a bit of a Facebook thing. Um, got a neighbour. Um, so yeah, the uh, a lot of the physical problems from the cancer treatment have gotten better. My ability to sleep has gotten better. Oh yeah, the auction. Thank you for mentioning that. So on the sticky post, there is, uh, for those who do not know, there, there uh, okay, so it starts with a um, Lizard Island, there's a resort. That, I think that's just off the coast of Cairns, so it's on the Great Barrier Reef. They donated to the Big Walk uh, a package, a luxury package. So at this at this beautiful resort, uh, it's valued at twelve thousand dollars, and the charity are managing an auction where the amount that it, that it's auctioned off for will go to the monies raised by the Big Big Walk. So um, it'll help boost the charity result tremendously. And the person who gets it, uh, well, actually, I think it might even meet the tax. You get the tax benefits of making a donation while having the tangible benefit of having got a holiday because I, I don't don't take my word for that I don't know um, there's all the, the the charities put all these terms and conditions up there but it's Lizard Island I've been to Magnetic Island which is up that way as well gorgeous beaches gorgeous ocean it's like emerald green uh, the rocks and the sand are just gorgeous so Lizard Island it's all you can eat all you can drink everything's paid for so you just rock on up you know, so if you if you want to ride a catamaran, you get to ride the catamaran and it's free. You want a jet ski, you get to ride the jet ski, it's free. So all, all of the activities, everything's covered. You just, the, the transfers from the airport across, all of that. Uh, so it's a, a beautiful, it's supposed to be a very beautiful resort. I've not been there, so I, I don't want to, you know, tell you something that I, it's not true. I don't know, but I, I, I've seen the pictures. <laughs> I'd love to go. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be auctioned off uh, between now and the 6th of February. So if you're interested, you chuck a chuck a bid on there, yeah. But it's valued at 12 grand. So right now, I think the highest bid is like $5,300 or something like that. So for now, you're getting away with a steal. Um, so comments. Winning, winning the auction, lol. Yeah, thank you for reminding me of that. Hannah says, did you hear from media outlets, Captain? I'm a bit late to the party tonight, so if you talked about that earlier, I apologize. Don't apologize. I actually contacted my, so I haven't heard from any of the people who have been contacted by you guys, but I did a round of uh, contacts as well. So I've heard back from this lovely lady, Lydia, who's a producer at the Today Show and she's given a, an indication that they would really like to do something so i hope that they'll jump on board and help to um, you know share the arrival in sydney i think it's a moment and it's a, it's a, it's an optimistic story i think it's something that is worth talking about you know i'm i'm normally quite shy but i think i have come a long way figuratively and literally and i think there's hope in that and, and, and the message that a broken life can be profoundly mended, you know, fixed, like really fixed. So I'm going to tear up a little bit there because it, there's, it's absolutely true. Spontaneous remission, healing, like genuine healing. I'm good, really good, you know, and, and we're capable of that. So there's such hope in that, in that, you know, there's such, there's such tremendous kindness that you've, you've shared with me as well has lifted me up. And that's a, that's a circle we create together. So, you know, the, that's part of the story as well. And I think that's potentially something that the public benefits from hearing. So I hope that today show jumps on or any of the other outlets jump on because that also has a great tangible benefit to the charity. It just means ka-ching, 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 ka-ching for the charity, you know? Um, good night, Captain Oz from Archer. He's going to sleep. Oh, I didn't, sorry, I didn't realize Archer was watching. Oh, crap. Oh, good night, Archer. Oh, I swore. Sorry. Good night, Archer, mate. Re you get through this, buddy. You got it, man. I I'm so 
proud and happy to be your friend. And you've really helped me to be strong. I hope that I can help you to be strong too, Archer. If you're still listening, my friend, you get through this. I, I know it's hard, but I know you've got that, that in you, buddy. You're a hero. So you just be tough and you find that superhero inside you, okay? And if, I, if, I, if my words can help you even a little bit, I'm so happy and I'm so glad that you're my friend, mate, because you lift me up. So thank you for that. Good luck with your treatment. You power through it, buddy. You just power right through it. You can do it. Um, sorry, comments, comments, comments. Um, the birds in the background, yeah, they're, they're gorgeous. Um, bloody deserve the coverage, thank you. Yeah, and look, healing is, um, I think, I don't know, hope. It's all underwritten by hope. You know, you have a little bit, you breathe life into it and it grows, you share it, it grows more. You, you give it to someone else and it, it amplifies magnificently. And hope, just, just the belief that positive outcomes can happen, you know, like, the, like Peter Pan, the, the kids can fly as long as they believe in magic, you know, that's what hope is, it's like a kind of magic. Uh, Diane, yeah, Diane, I'm so, I'm so sorry he's going through the ordeal that he's going through, mate. I hope the treatments work out and um, yeah, I, I'm sure it's, I can't imagine the, the resolute strength that you need as well. And so I understand your younger son is donating the bone marrow. That little dude, what a, what a lovely little dude helping his brother like that. That is such a sweet, beautiful thing, Diane. So the, the you know, you as a parent must be torn with your pride for those boys, but your, your grief and your worry as well. I'm so sorry, I wish I could carry that burden for you but I can't, but I suspect you are much stronger and more resolute than I am. Callum, well, what a, what a, I mean, that's just a wonderful thing. Wonderful thing, good on him. So, you know, for all of the, the burden that you're carrying, Diane, it's not just about Archer, it's about you as well. I, I feel for you, I understand. I've never had to deal with pediatric cancer directly myself. I just feel passionately that it's a, incredibly important cause you know um, yeah good on you be strong and I'm uh, you know I'm sorry that you and your family are facing up to this trauma uh, Deb says I, re I received citizen of the year in my hometown on Australia Day oh, that's great Jeez, Deb good on you although the highlight of the month was meeting you Captain Australia having a beer and raising some dollars so I yeah I love I love meeting you Deb you are flat strap a lovely person and when you came over to and, and said good day at Foster Tunkari that was that was a surprise to see you again and a delight um, stay in touch if you would if you can and would like to uh, but yeah a joy to meet you and I hope one day to have a few beers again and sing you know let's groove tonight and all of that sort of stuff that they had going on um, yeah okay so I've had quite a few old man rambles tonight. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Sydney tomorrow. I'll, I'll stream up and I'll share. I'll try and meet people. I'll try and like properly meet people and see if I can share their stories with you a bit in streams. Because it's sort of like weirdly narcissistically all about what's Captain Australia doing? I reckon it'd be great to just, you know, um, meet a few interesting people and sort of share in their stories if they're up for it. So tomorrow I have my first, like, you know, real just have a wander day, you know. I, I'm not in a hurry to get where I need to get. So we'll see what happens. Hey, if anybody makes a daily donor day of doom, I'm completely up for that as well. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for your interest. So a quick rundown for new people. Uh, it's Captain Australia's Big Walk. What is that? It's this buffhead who dresses up in a Batman-like <laughs> Captain Australia uniform which really, 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 really pongs. It smells like I rubbed it in horse shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. It is terrible. It pongs so bad. Um, but yeah, and I'll, I'll put that bad boy on again tomorrow in any case. And yep, so I'm walking from Brisbane to Melbourne and it's for a charity called The Kids Cancer Project. The Kids Cancer Project is all about uh, research into pediatric cancer, so it's softening the treatments it's about improving their efficacy. 
950 Aussie kids are diagnosed every year. The average age is six. 20% of them do not survive treatment. So for me, it's about just if we save one life, then it becomes 949. Save one life this year, every future year that number's gotten lower. So we've saved countless future unborn children. So it's all about that. It's all about just bettering those treatments, softening those treatments. And um, yeah, the big walk is for that, but it's also a pilgrimage. So it's me with my big old bushy old part COVID, mostly old man walking bushman <laughs> swag man beard. Um, and it's all about finding healing, rebuilding hope in a life that was broken, ravaged by cancer. Um, I was a ghost a year ago. And now I am profoundly alive in a way that I wouldn't have expected. I, I, I'm coming back and, and that's available to all of us. So it's about sharing that as well, demonstrating that, giving, giving a, a pathway that other people can just, if you take a little piece of hope from that and you breathe life into that hope, then it's yours. And it becomes like a dove that you can release and that, that hope, you can do your thing then. It won't be a superhero big walk, or it can be. That would be cool. But, um, you know, you, you then find... And, and, and hope is just about leaning into your cure, not your disease. It's about leaning into the solution, not the problem. And, you know, you keep trying, you make a mistake, you learn, the mistake becomes a lesson, you move forward. So hope, hope enables all of that. So, um, oh, a few parting comments. Are you feeling refreshed? Oh, I will after tonight. So the sleeping rough catches up on you, to be honest. You know, you, you feel vulnerable. And um, I, let, I let that go. I throw myself into the lap of the gods, you know. And I do sleep. Sleep better than I have in years. But even so, when you get probably about the fourth night of sleeping rough, you just, A, that your own stink. <laughs> your own stink becomes a problem. So if, it, if your own stink is a problem for yourself, other people can tell um, but there's yeah you just it builds up a bit so now comfortable bed safe door that locks I mean, I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight yeah um, and then yeah I'll be good for another four or five nights of rough sleep <laughs> um, but yeah the I, I've, I've been interested to deal with Sydney as well because it's such a large metropolitan area you know so the wide the greater Sydney area you know, just to traverse it with three days or whatever to get from, you know, one remote point where there's bushland to another remote point where there's bushland and the, in between it's all urban. So, you know, sleeping in an alleyway or whatever was something that I was actually pretty interested to have to figure out. So we'll see what happens tomorrow night. But I do have my mate Joe slash Alfred calling around. <laughs> She's relentless. She's incredible and wonderful to see if um, she can get a, a venue who will donate a bed, which it's great. So I can take hospitality, that's lovely. Um, but if I don't get it, uh, yeah, maybe Curability House is my solution. Um, so Rob, Rod says sleep well, Sonia says glad to hear this. I am so very excited to, sit, to see in Sydney. Yes, it's a huge area, yeah. All right, but Melbourne, here we come, huh? All right, so thank you so much for your time and interest. Um, Really appreciate it. Everybody, please, you know, spare a thought and a prayer if you're the praying type for Archer and his brother Callum. So his little bro's giving a bone marrow donation to this dude. Like, what a great, what a great thing. Um, so Deb says, I don't think you realize, but you're not only impacting children who are battling with cancer, but those battling with their mind. Mental health matters. Keep on keeping on, Captain Australia's big boss. They say, I, I do, I do get it. Like, I... Um, I met this lovely lady, a mum, who had to have like a, I think it was a radical hysterectomy for her own ovarian cancer or some type of cancer. And she seems to have beaten it, but she's been trying so relentlessly to, to get back, get her life back onto an even footing. And for me, I, I counseled her, just be protective of your mental health. And even like trying so hard is actually a bit of a red flag that you're giving the cancer too much of a footprint in your life you need to push forward but at the same time um, relax and accept and grieve so it's a it's a really tricky and individual recipe but yeah I'm, I'm aware so in sharing my experiences 
you know, if nothing else, it invites a dialogue between other survivors that can help somebody. Um, you're inspiring those who come across your journey will indeed be praying for Archer, his brother, and all who love them both. Yeah, that, what a lovely family. Um, so I got to get a postcard tomorrow from one of these sort of, but he lives in Sydney, so it's like a postcard of your own backyard, but you know, that's fine. Um, night Captain, sleep well, catch you tomorrow. Yeah, good night everybody. Thank you for tolerating my old man rambles. Um, I'd sing you a song, but I'm all sung out from the Daily Donor Dare of Doom the other day. Um, Archie, you got this, yeah, good on you, good on you all. Um, thank, thank you so much for your kindness. And uh, if you live in Sydney or near Sydney, and you'd like to meet up uh, Wednesday morning, I'm gonna be crossing that bridge and it, it would be so cool to have a couple of people in their underpants doing it with me. I mean, I don't mean in a sexy way, I mean your underpants, well, it's, it is sexy, um, but you know, your underpants are, well, sexy to me. No, it's not sexy to me, like, what I mean is your underpants up on the outside and a towel around your neck, I think that's really great and that's really good and that would be very cool and you know, we can toddle across that bridge like a bunch of geriatric old weirdos, uh, ideally some young people there, you know. Um, Diane says, get home, get one from uh, Oladala or Molly Moot. He loves it there. Okay, I, I will. So I owe some beers in Oladala. I'll definitely uh, keep, be on the lookout for a postcard as well. Um, have you got fancy undies for it? No, no. Nobody wants to wear my undies. My undies, by the way, pong like the devil's asshole. Sorry, I swore again. I, it comes out, I don't mean to. Um, geez. Yeah, the, no, you put your own undies on the outside, not mine. Um, but yeah, anyway, all right. So thank you so much. Captain Australia's big walk, Brisbane to Melbourne, um, and tomorrow taking it sort of slow and steady and casual through Sydney. So we'll camp on the North Shore somewhere tomorrow, or or have a bed on the North Shore somewhere. And Wednesday morning, we're going to cross the Harbour Bridge into the Sydney, into Sydney, where I will claim that city for my own. I will claim dominion over it and all of its people, and I will rule you with an iron fist. Um, Rod, Rod says our thoughts are with Archer and his family. Yep, lovely. Yeah, and and that's a good point, right? It is, uh, you know, the Archer himself his brother but the, the wider family and that's the thing with pediatric cancer you know like the if it gets a young child who who beats it like that in a way that can be a very lucky thing if the side effects are not too grim but the scars the the, the trauma of it are carried by the family more than the child because they're young enough to forget they're young enough to forget and move on as long as they don't get recurrence that it doesn't leave that dark cloud over their life where they fear cancer for the rest of their days um, but the parents have to carry the weight of that. So it is, it's a, it's a, um, you know, it's devastation for the children, devastation for their families. And I do think the charity is tremendously worthwhile. So, you know, check it out. The, the sticky post should have links to the donation page if you can find it in your heart to donate to the Kids Cancer Project. Uh, you know, we're at 55 grand or something now. And once this auction's finished, that'll boost it up. And if we get a bit of media support for the bridge crossing, that'll boost it up as well. So onward and upward. Anyway, all the best. Um, oh, I've got mosquito bites. Oh, come on. Need a bit of the old air guard. All right, well, I'm gonna wander inside and um, maybe watch a bit of the old news and eat one of my protein brekkie bars. So thank you so much for your time and interest. Captain's Joe's Big Walk, Brisbane to Melbourne, and I've made it to Sydney. All right. Take care of yourselves. See you later.